Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a small image gallery on your Twitter profile. So I'm going to open up my Firefox and I'm logged into my Twitter profile. I'm going to click on this tweet button here and I'm going to write DCP example banner. putting a few hashtags in here to make this post easier to find if someone's searching for something of this service. I'm going to click on this add photo button and I'm able to upload four different images. So I'm going to click on this one here as an example and I'm going to upload four different pictures. And here I've got four different banner advert design examples. And the next thing I want to do is I want to have more info here and I want someone to click on the link to go to my website. So I'm going to go to my website and I'm going to copy this URL here. But the URL is quite long. So I'm going to use something called Bitly to shorten the URL. So I'm going to click here on this website and click on the login button. And I'm going to log in with my Twitter account or you can create your new account as well. But I'm going to use my Twitter account to log in. And I'm going to click on this create bit.ly. I'm going to paste the URL into here and it's going to shorten the URL for me. And I'm going to click on the copy button here, copy. And then just click save. So here you can see that link here. This is specifically for this particular post that I'm doing. I'm going to go back to my Twitter profile and paste it into here. And then I'm going to click the tweet button. So here you can see the post and if I click on the image it will give me this little gallery where I can flick through the four examples and I can also click on this link it will take me to my website page but I'm going to click on the one here and that will take me to the bit.ly URL and then redirect me to my website. The advantage of this is if I log back into my Twitter, sorry my bit.ly profile and if I refresh it will tell me that that link has been clicked two times. So it's been clicked twice. So someone's clicked it and I've clicked it and it tells me which country has you know, clicked on the links and it gives me some statistics. So it's quite useful information for some stats if you wanna know who's clicked your link and when they've clicked it and so forth. So I hope you find that tutorial very useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.